what's up guys okay it is whoa that sun is boom not like that's gonna help but it's what is today saturday it's saturday guys okay so we are going to down to the city we have a meeting michelle has a meeting for her big 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 portfolio shoot she's been planning for the past few months um we're going we're going to meet with the models um we're going to make sure we get the headshots we're going to make sure that we talk with them we she's laying out all her details with them she got her contracts everything y'all okay y'all want to be very professional when you're working i just want to i just want to state this okay it doesn't matter where you're at in your level of like your business whether you're just starting whether you're far into the business you need to always be professional like on every level when you're dealing with yourself when you're dealing with other people be professional be on point if you have papers you're supposed to be dealing with contracts deadlines you know materials you're supposed to be getting like anything you're supposed to be doing like be professional with it you know you understand what i'm saying it's just like it's just like thinking about like if you know i don't know i don't know anything else to compare it to just and saying like you know just be on point like that's it and like if you're, you're on, representing yourself, you're representing like, yourself like your, your business image. what you're building your image your your brand is your image right you understand what i'm saying like radiance glows photography is a reflection of michelle of who she is of what she does and it's it's her brand it's, it's a reflection of her especially especially when you're a creative and you're an artist you understand what i'm saying an artist in any aspect i'm talking about like a dancer a singer artist whatever an artist a creative in any aspect like your business your brand reflects you you understand what i'm saying my tribe complex reflects me like how i operate the brand how i deal with everything the art that you it reflects who i am so like if you're a professional and you're dealing with someone and like you're humble and you're kind and you're on point people are always going to want to come back and deal with you in your business they're always going to and they're probably going to bring more attention to your business because you're so on point when you're not on point and you're unprofessional and either if you have an attitude you're just nasty any anything from any of those categories people are not going to want to work with you anymore and it's not going to look good for you and it's not going to look good for your business so that was just a little thing i want to add because i've dealt with so many unprofessional people in my life and thinking that they were professional like when i met them you understand what i'm saying like coming to the table talking with them and i'm thinking like oh, oh okay and then they show their true colors like just off rip be professional with people and always be professional don't try to put up a front like you're this person about your business and all this other stuff if you're really not because sooner or later people are gonna see it and it's kind of like it's annoying nobody wants to deal with unprofessional people like i've been working since i was 12 and i've learned a lot you know what i'm saying like i've watched my dad deal with his businesses i've worked in organizations nonprofits, and profit organizations and just watching the way how people work and manage people and deal with people yo and one of my top pet peeves is people who are unprofessional it drives me crazy it drives me crazy like i i don't know about you but that drives me bonkers you understand what i'm saying and i especially hate not hate but i especially don't like people who walk around like they're this professional thing and this professional person uh. and they're not like yo like i can't I, you know it's like i really can't even go into like i really can't even go into detail about those type the people that i've come across because if i start talking about them, people gonna know who who they are <laughs> yo. in this video because that's how that's how real you understand what i'm saying and, like, and people don't get me wrong people might act like they think people know they unprofessional people know people, that they be doing you, just gotta, you gotta know how to differentiate yeah, yeah, yeah. between the people who know how to just talk a good talk, talk. and the people who actually walk that walk, walk yep That's and it. i've learned that to a t now like i i yeah. i can spot dealing with someone off rip like okay this person probably gonna get me to run around or and they don't really got their stuff together, you know, blah, 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 blah. And you know, sometimes you want to give people the benefit of, of the doubt for whatever reason. Whatever reason it might be. But again, guys, like going back to the other, our dance video when we was talking to y'all. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. We're getting back to our dancing. But like we told y'all, just protect yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're dealing with people always have protection always have plan b's and plan c's because you never especially when you're working with other people 
you never know what someone is gonna do. Like you, you yeah. you're never gonna be able to to a T kind of make sure that nobody ever has the ability Billy to negatively to affect, affect your, your business. business. Exactly, you exactly. Like you know, so always have Plan Bs. Like I just ran into an issue with one of my manufacturers trying to get sweatshirts done and talking about you know I was. I was ready to get all this stuff and then it's like they don't have the sizes they don't have the colors they can't do this printing process but when originally that they were saying that they can do all this stuff so i'm just like okay plan b like real easy because i have plan b and plan c ready for my business you understand what i'm saying so just always know that everybody and then you need to always keep in mind that not everybody's going to operate the way you operate that's just a fact yeah. like especially if you're a very professional person you're on point with your stuff you know you working hard you sacrificing not everybody has that mindset and you need to learn how to dif differentiate and find people who are on the same mindset as you because dealing with people who are on the same mindset they're they're not going to understand why you're going so hard Yo. you understand what I'm saying? because they're going to think your hustle, your hustle. they're not going to understand your hustle because they're going to think they're not there they're not there they're What's not there saying? i am sharpens iron exactly iron sharpens iron they're not going to understand I'm because with people of like mind right like mentality like mentality because their mentality is not there so to 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 somebody else it could just be like you're overdoing it or you you're doing too much but to somebody who understands you you they'll know like oh you hustling like you you make you gonna make it this happen yeah you you making this happen no matter what nobody tells you you understand what i'm saying those are the type of people you need around you and just remember like if you don't have that circle of people around you in the beginning it's okay those people will come they'll start to build and you'll start to see who to keep in your your circle of your circle of crazy faith your circle of you know work you'll start to see who are the people that are there with you on the same mindset on the same level you know the same work ethic everything same belief like you know like i i don't like talking to people when i'm telling them like what i'm planning to do in my accomplishments and i don't i don't get no reaction and they're like they're kind of like oh are you really can you really do that and da 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 i need somebody i come to them and talk about well i'm gonna conquer the world well when we doing it you you understand what i'm saying like she be on board for everything i say and even if i tell her something and she has feedback it's always something that's going to positively push me to figure out how to achieve what I'm telling her I want to do. All right. Let's think about this realistically. Realistically. Like how we, do, how how we, we doing this? that? Like, all right. How it sounds good, that? the idea, but realistically, lay it out. How can you realistically get it done? Because I know you could do it, but I just gotta, don't think. You got to be in that mindset. Right. So. You got to be here to do it. Or like, done, maybe the tactic that you're going through is not going to get you there. It's going to get you here. So let's do this. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Those are the type of people you need around you. So... We had him down. We had him. Like me. <laughs> yo. Ride or die. I mean, like, with everything I do. That's right. And, and vice versa. Like, when she comes to me, I'll be like, you want to do it? Let's do it. Like, you could do it. You could do anything you put your mind to. I'm here. What you what you want to do? I might not under... Like, when it comes to her photography, she be talking about cameras. I'll be, I'll be like, I don't know what you talk about with the lenses. But if that lens going to make you look like you shooting bowl covers, let's do it. Like, that's it. That's all I care. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you got to be the, the, if you're not those, if you're not that same mentality, we, like, what do you, I don't understand. Surround yourself with people who are like you. Yo, for real. It's not spring. We down here, 29th Street, going to this meeting to meet my models. I'm so excited. Um, I'm not excited about New York. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is ridiculous. Construction everywhere. No parking. Like, this is annoying. I cannot walk. Uh, we are walking hella fast because we're kind of late. Oh. It's so freaking crowded. You can't even walk on the side. And then people, people don't move. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't give you no room to breathe. Over. They won't walk up on you. I'm, I'm, yo, this is why I'm leaving New York for these very reasons. And plus, like, I just don't want to live here anymore. Like, I don't want to raise a family here. You heard the girl. Anyways, um, we'll vlog when we get inside and see the models and stuff. You know, talk to them. We'll show you a little bit of that in a second. This is why I can't stand New York. We come to the building. What the? And the thing says attention the guard is around the building we will be back soon thank you for your cooperation management bro how you don't have no guard and you have people 
booking spaces in this building for meetings meaning people are coming in and out in and out like i should hit up the host or just call i guess to see like to let them know maybe somebody will come downstairs this is ridiculous and it says hourly daily and weekly booking bookings you have hourly bookings and the guard is not here bro this runs into my time this is stupid bro hi hola Everything's okay? Yes, yes. Thank you. waiting for a few more people. Okay, no Thank you. So we're here. Okay. So there's three other girls. Each one of you has a separate theme. So for you, we're doing a futuristic kind of vibe. So, <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm just kind of. Like, yeah. As long as I just want you guys to feel comfortable, I'm all about comfortable because yeah, if you're not yeah. comfortable then stuff don't look right don't come out right it's authentic you know yes. you can tell as long as you guys are comfortable i'm great i feel good i'm i'm good and like i said i'm an upcoming photographer like, i haven't been doing this for super long but like i'm i'm moving yeah. i'm moving forward with with starting my business and everything i'm so happy that you guys um reached out to me actually the, you four were the top there's, there's two other girls coming you four with the top, the top um, pick. For shows, you going on like I, four years now? Well, like my starting my own business, I've been like two. I'm gonna say three years, only because I started and then I took a break, and then I came back and then COVID hit, so I have taken another mm -hmm. another break. Yeah, that's it. I, I did it for, so we say four. So so like three four years, but I've I've been taking photos for since I was like mm -hmm. a so teenager and stuff. Here I put my my information. Yeah. Yeah, just where it says model. Oh, it's fine. That's okay. Wherever you put it, it's fine. Either way. Right. So I'm also She's signing fine. in here, guys, so you guys know. And I'll bring you guys copies of these as well, okay? Yes. Ooh, we can have so much fun. Um, so each one of you is doing a different theme. She's doing flowers. She's doing like a futuristic theme. You're doing um, candy, like a candy girl theme. How do you feel about wearing a wig? Why not? I haven't ever tried it, but never tried I'm it? very open to it. Okay, perfect. Cause I haven't decided, I'm not sure how we're gonna style your hair yet, but I'm looking at a wig. Well, whatever you think, you know, whatever you see. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. I think exactly. you should get a wig. The wig you showed me was nice. Yeah, the, it's, it'll be probably either blue or pink. Are you showing me Instagram or Facebook photos you submitted to the magazine? They have me on Instagram. They have big scene. Yeah. It's cold, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure y'all will look at my stuff before you wrote me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be no, I'm, I'm super, I'm so excited because honestly, like this, this is my first step in moving in a different direction for mm -hmm. like all the stuff that I want to do. So you guys are like the first, you guys are gonna be the, my updated website. Like all the photos are going up. Yeah, good. Um, so it won't just be the first time I'm submitting like four sets of photos to magazines and stuff. So, and I'm gonna submit to multiple magazines. Um, I have a question. Is it uh, the submissions that you're doing? Is it inclusive or um, or non inclusive? Meaning, because like, you said you're submitting, right? Yeah. So Different. since we signed the contract, we, you want us to refrain from posting, right? When no, like, you can post. Oh, okay, that's you fine. can post the photos as soon as I send them to you. You just as just long as you tag yeah. the appropriate everybody who's in it, then that's fine. Okay. Because also, too, some of the magazines will probably hit you guys up as well to make sure that your information is correct when I send them your okay. information. I've um, submitted to like two magazines before. Um, they okay. they contacted the girls that I did for the shoots for, and they made sure that they were aware that they were being. Nice. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna make sure that you guys are aware of everything. So okay, cool. So yeah, but you guys can post as much as you want. And post it. Uh, okay, no, no uh, I yeah. have worked with a photographer once, and she was like, please wait until like after. Oh, she gave you the deadline. Yeah, and once I send you the photos, you are free to do what the oh, heck you yeah, want yeah, with them. Okay, um, we'll also be doing a lot of videos, so um, if you guys are interested in videos as well, because I, 
you know, reels is the way it is now on yeah. Instagram and stuff, video, there's nobody pushing photos no more, you got to do video <laughs> work now, so a lot of video stuff will be going up as well. Um, it's going to be a lot of, like, props and stuff on the day of, so I do, I will be, because I, it's a small team, we are small, I'm small, you know, I'm just yeah. starting out, so I do need you guys to help out a little bit, like, which is, so that we can move a little faster, because yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going to have to be setting up different backdrops and different, you know, <clears throat> themes and stuff like yours. Yours is candy, mm -hmm. so it's probably going to be a lot of, like, Props. Props and stuff, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna get candy jars, I'm gonna put like Skittles and crap in there. And no, of course, like, you know, like, regardless of like, what you need to help. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. so, um, what else? I think that's it. <laughs> Meeting was a success. You guys are gonna see the behind the scenes of the photo shoot coming soon, guys. So, you'll get to see all the models on the day getting done. Missing one, but yeah. you'll see all of them. So, oh, I'm so excited! Go you gonna you gonna do the group chat for everything? Uh, yes, I'm gonna do the group chat. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Make sure you have to finish anything. Is everybody good with um water and like little granola bars and stuff like that? Okay. I I need snacks, so I'm gonna make sure everybody got snacks. Cause. Um, just so that everybody is feeling good. You know, there's gonna be like. I'm not big on flash photography too much, but I am gonna have a, a light there, just okay. you know, so yeah. that everything. Cause you never know with these studios. Sometimes the lighting is, yeah, so it's it's sometimes it's terrible. So I will today. have um, okay. a light there and all that. Nobody's like funny with lights and mm -hmm. right? flash and all that. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm really excited. Okay. Like I'm, just, I'm seeing it. You know, the I'm so energy. excited too. So I can't wait to see you guys in your outfits. We're gonna have it's a so good high time. when I see all the rest of y'all, so then I'm like, yes, go for it. Wait, what are you doing again? I'm doing like flowers. Flowers, flowers candy. I'm not sure. No work. Then I'm futuristic. I already know. It was crazy because I'm actually, I thought of my own alien thing. Yeah. Like, con like my own, like, I'm do I planned everything with okay. this photographer on April 9th. Yeah. So then you hit me with this futuristic thing, and I'm like, it makes it's sense. Been, yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm yeah. not meant for this. Yeah. Well, it's it's Excited. I'm, I'm super happy. You guys have made my day. Yes. So, I can't wait like to get water. to it. Meeting was awesome. Guys, I'm so happy I got these girls. We do I these the perfect yes. girls. We do these things and we meet people in the process and you make connections in the process, guys. It's these super girls are the perfect fun. Girls. Yo, okay. like she picked each girl perfectly for each part. They're yeah. super excited. They're super happy. We're happy. We're just, she's doing, she, y'all, this is gonna be crazy. We can't wait. Ah, Y'all gonna get to see behind the scenes. And right now we're gonna try to get some Starbucks. Ooh, Starbucks. And we had back hope. We gotta go see our baby midnight. We got midnight. We missed the bubble. We missed the bubble. We gotta film. We gotta film when we walk in the door so y'all can see how midnight attacks us when we come home Word. after we've been gone the whole day. Word. Hey peeps, we're back home. Now I got some editing to do. Um, Dan Danny's gonna work on some screenwriting. Yeah. And yeah, we said we was work. gonna show y'all midnight when we get home, so we walking in the house now. He's at the door, Ma. Probably. He's probably at the door because he's always he at the door. He knows to not run out the door though. Yeah. Let's see. Mom takes too long to open it. You gotta just. Yeah. He's in his crate. Oh, he was laughing in his crate. There you go. Danielle. Danielle. He missed Danny. 
Yeah. And that's how we're gonna end it right there, y'all. We back in the house. Bubba missed us.